then comes to Oracle RD business journey. So what was available earlier? That is to start with yearly releases, Oracle 7 database, Oracle has started uh, in the market to give the database, 7, 9, 10 10G, 11G, and now the version is 12G. Current releases, we have 11G as well. It's still supported by Oracle 12C, that is 12.2. Uh, prior to 11G, we still have some databases runs on 10G, but that is uh, now de-supported by Oracle. If you have any issues, you can't engage Oracle because they won't be able to support. They may ask you to upgrade the database to 11G or 12G, whatever is supported. And latest release, which is Oracle has released, I think, some time back, it is 18C. 18C is nothing but uh, they have enhanced many features available in 12C with covering the Oracle Cloud database as well. Oracle Cloud. We'll talk about Oracle Cloud in the later slides. Fine. When it comes to then uh, install, installing and configuring Oracle. So when it, when it comes to installing and configuring Oracle, of course, when we were uh, searching for a job back on 2005, six. When you go for an interview, we, the normal questions, the common questions, what we used to get is to how do you install Oracle, how to create a database, how do you install uh, Oracle database into Linux platform, Solaris platform. These are the very common questions which you used to have, which is no more the case, by the way. Of course, you still need to install, but the things are automated now. Starting with 12C, of course, you need to have still need to install it manually, but there are other alternate alternate ways to uh, automate it. I will be talking about the automations at the end of the slides. What we have done the automation in our company and how far we have been traveled, how far the automation has helped us to travel by having the huge number of uh, databases. Of course, you still need, but when you want to learn, please install it yourself. Make sure the Oracle how the install installation goes. You still need to understand. How, how you need to configure the database. Though the things are getting automated, you must learn how to how the things are working in the background when it comes for an installation as well as the configuring Oracle databases. Once the once you configure databases, then we need to enable some sort of monitoring because you just can't just get the databases and give it to customers and go away. Of course, you need to have some set of monitoring. Monitoring the sense. It can be the third-party tool available available in the market, which helps you to monitor the Oracle databases. Or you can have your own customized cell script to monitor the database. The companies which are using one or few databases or less than 10 databases, of course, they wouldn't go for any third-party tool because there is, they need to pay for license. So they would rely on the DBA to enable the basic monitoring, which can be done against uh, cell script. So you should be in a position to compile the cell script to monitor the databases as well. And tuning. Tuning is the need of database administrator, which cannot be automated. So when you want to learn DBA, of course, those things are, you, you, you must be knowing all the architecture view, uh, installation, in, in installations, configuring Oracle, monitoring everything. But when it comes to tuning, you should be in position to tune the databases. What is tuning? So we used to get some sort of issues. Mostly it could be performance issues. The things are getting slow. Please check what's going on. So you should be in position to start investigating and drill down where is the exact issue and fix it. The business are expecting the DBS for the performance tuning, most of the cases. Of, of course, DBS roles involves everything else as well, installation, configuration, capacity planning, storage management, everything. But tuning is the significant role where you can play. Tuning doesn't come with the learning, or it, it all comes with an experience. You need to practice yourself with a different sort of queries, and you will be able to tune the queries when you see a real-time issues. And the next need of uh, database administrator is backing up and recovery databases. If any disaster recovery happens, or if the server crashes, and if the server, uh, the Linux admin comes to you and say, of course, I cannot 
bring back the file system how it was. So you should be in position to restore the databases from the backup. Oracle itself has its own uh, tool, which is called Rman Backup. Either you can take a backup to tape or to the disk. We used to take to the tape because there is no dependency on the disk. Even if the server crashes, even if the storage admin or the Linux server admins lifted their hand, they can't recover the server or the storage to the early state. We should be, as a DBA, we should be in position to recover the databases from the backup. So you need to be prepared for any kind of failures. That's what business is expecting. And basic understanding of database security issues. Security issues, you need to have you need to have the proper understanding of the privileged users. So who can access what? You should be in position to control it. There are different sort of issues. Of course, you can get the database where the credit card information is stored. So you should be in position to uh, give the right privileges to uh, see who can access what. Of course, the credit card number cannot be visible to others. So you need to have some sort of encryptions so that the end user cannot see what is encrypted into the databases. This is the, how Oracle has been working so far, and Oracle has done tremendous effort to automate many things. And you will see the best uh, database admin requirements. What is Oracle, what is the business expecting? Having said yearly slides, this is just to have a quick recap of yearly slides. Uh, command over SQL and PL SQL languages, wizards and GUI versus command line. This is the most important. When you want to uh, become a DBA, you should be First, familiarize yourself with the commands, all sort of commands. Of course, there are uh, GUI commands, uh, GUI available that is called Oracle Interface Manager. And within database, you can call database console or the different kind of console available where you can all do all sort of administrator works by clicking the button. There are different sort of uh, menus where you can choose it. You will be able to learn once you, but to be honest, there are DBS who doesn't who is not familiar with command line and when, who knows how to work only with GUI. That seems to be, that sounds, uh, that doesn't sound good. So make sure you are familiar with yourself of what the command line does and then you can move on to GUI to make the things easier. Oracle has put a lot of effort to have the GUI mode where the DBS has started using it. And then real-time challenges. Most of the time the real-time challenges and issues, you should be in position to uh, fix any sort of error comes in the databases as well as in the applications. Most likely, if the database are, are integrated with the uh, .NET or any other uh, third-party tools, if the error seems to be an Oracle error, having said Oracle error, which means the error starts with ORA underscore, ORA hyphen or the TNS hyphen. These are the Oracle related errors. If you see those errors, you should be in position to see what is the exact issues and of course, that there are application team who can help you, but as a DBA, you should be driving it. And then comes to performance. Having said earlier, performance plays a significant role because having huge number of databases, when it comes to an performance, you should know where to start, what could be the usual problems, and uh, you should be in position to identify the exact root cause instead of giving some sort of uh, other uh, unrelated information to the customers and working under assumptions. This is the most common mistakes where most of the DBS are doing now. When they, whenever they have issues, not only DBS, even the application teams as well, whenever they have issues, they assume this could be the issues and they implement something else. But actually, they don't check the actual stats of the database or the queries or what is going on. Suppose when the end user says, uh, when I click the button, something is slow. The the results are not getting populated in the screen. And the application teams assumes this could be the issues and they do some sort of restart of the application servers. Of course, that would be some sort of workaround. But do not work under assumptions. Check the real stats. So when I, when I, what I meant checking the real stats is when the application opens open the connections, track down to the corresponding SQLs, that is the SQL query, and check what is wrong in the query when the end user clicks it. So why the certain query becomes slow suddenly when it was working fine earlier? So you should be in position to check the real stats instead of working, instead of uh, taking the decision based on assumptions. 
in order to have have a performance stability of course you need to have you need to write i mean the developers should write should be able to write the codes professionally by following the best practice on each version the reason why i'm i'm uh, stressing this is we used to upgrade the database starting from 9a 10g 11g 12c till now but the codes the oracle or oracle sql and plsql codes remains compatible to oracle 9a the application doesn't show any sort of interest to learn what is what are because when i say oracle releases each version oracle doesn't release the new features only for the databases it also releases the very good features for the developers so application team should be able to rewrite their code according to the best practice in the uh, current and uh, the upgraded versions so you should be in position to guide them so you, uh, overall sequels and plus knowledge is very much important in order to guide them and tuning the course of course you can tune the course to re rewrite the query again i'll just put performance tuning because that plays significant role and uh, database design is most important to have the uh, performance stabilized performance over the period of times and then oracle exa data so oracle exa data is something new hope you all, some of you attended the yesterday sessions given by kumar uh, that is something very oracle has uh, comes up with the unique feature where no other rdbms um, platforms are giving so far that is they compiled the business needs customer needs into single platform that is an appliance so in a single box you have storage network everything pre configured you do not need to have the uh, server admins network admins database admins all comes into one single platform that is dma that is database machine administrator instead of dba it is dma database machine administrator we'll have, we'll see there are some certain things exact can do we'll see we'll see in the upcoming slides